Okay, what's up? We're doing the Monaco GP, probably one of the most famous Grand Prix in all of F1, and definitely one of the most iconic. Um, and so as you can see, we've got the flag of Monaco. If I properly do it, um, and we have our racetrack here. We have the first few corners. We have the hair, the uh, acute turn. Sorry. A cute happen, whatever. Um, sorry, I forgot my rally terminology there. Uh, and then we have a straightaway which ends with a turn right here. Uh, obviously, it's trying to replicate Monaco somewhat. Um, and then we go through here, and we have, of course, the famous tunnel section of Monaco, which goes through one corner and then on to the big straightaway broken up by chicane and going through the chicane onto the final sector going through going through final few turns and then we get to uh, where the start of the race is along with where the pits would be and if we're talking about real life and we're on to a new start so let's get this started I'm going to actually lower the disqualification time to 7 because like 15 is sometimes too long it's like who cares about uh, who's ending there uh, and I also could just end the race like all the, like manually um, and so let's get started okay and we're starting up the lights full lights green let's go Dusty, Minion, Hemo, Fresh, and Blue. Okay, and it's already changing up. Oh, and on the first turn. Oh, look at this. Eric and Bonbon bon really leading it off. Look at them go. Oh, Eric doing pretty well on that turn. Along with Avalanche and 56. And then onto the hairpin. Oh, 56 pulls out in front. Amazing move by 56 right there. That was a crazy. Okay, and then we're getting on to the turn onto the straightaway. Let's get outside the tunnel for this. Okay, 56 Avalanche Eric. All right, there's no, there's honestly no point right now because it's so, it's so close. On the chicane, Avalanche doing quite well. But 56 and Eric leading even 55 even and Mandarin looking like they're going to pass Avalanche. Okay, Eric doing well. Oh, but passed by Gleam and Leaf. It's people we haven't seen before really. Uh let's see. And on to these final few turns. We really just don't have too much going on. 49 leading it off, and it looks like 49 will probably be finishing first here. But we have two more laps to go after. Oh, Eric! Eric pulling ahead! What a move by Eric right there! That was insane! Oh, uh, but he's in second place now. But an amazing move nonetheless. Oh, it looks like we have one competitor stuck currently, but you know, that's life. And that's why I turn off the disqualification time, because I'm not waiting for like those people. And look at, look at the chaos of this corner. Absolutely insane. And through the hairpins right here. 55, Eric and Avalanche and 49 battling it out for third. And uh, into the tunnel, into the tunnel. Okay, let's see this. 55 leading off. Eric behind. And through the chicanes, let's see how it works out. Okay, 55, not doing too well on the chicanes. Same with most of the other ones. Eric, also going second now. Oh, 55, good. Let's see, and then through these turns. Uh, Eric, Mandarin. Uh, okay. And if you look over here. 
I feel like betting on this would be kind of funny because it's like a roulette wheel where you put like you could put money on a specific race or you could put it on like a name or, or or how they have like red and black you could put it on a name or a number and it looks like 55 will be taking oh Mandarin finishing with the fastest lap time but 55 leading off on this final lap right here but Eric in closer pursuit than he originally was back there and so let's see how this shapes up. 55 and Eric. Oh! 50. Oh, Avalanche now in second. What a comeback by Avalanche right there. Okay, let's see. Avalanche really close to 55 actually right now. Okay. And. Oh, Avalanche pulling out first. What a move by Avalanche right there. That was insane. Avalanche in 55. And let's see who will be going off on the chicane right here. Final lap. Oh, it's looking really good for Avalanche right here. He just needs to not mess up and he should be golden. Meanwhile, 55 behind him. Okay. Oh. Okay, Avalanche looking, oh, oh, and Avalanche, he, he's got it in the bag, he's got it in the bag, 55's dead in the water, only Mandarin could possibly, and yeah, no, they're not, they're, they're battling it out, and in the streets of Monaco here, we have Avalanche finishing off first, what a race, it didn't look like he was even finishing like first 20 at one point. And now, what a comeback. Honestly, probably one of the drivers of the day. If not, maybe Mandarin for keeping pace so well. Okay. Once 37 passes, you know, I'll just... Who cares? Um, okay. Ending the race. Avalanche, Eric, and Mandarin. Okay, followed by Blue, 72, 68 with the best time. Gleam, 39, 66, 49. Leaf, Clementine, 64. Chiquita, and 46. And we have one of those other uh, rainbow team uh, marbles, which uh, I, I mentioned in my Mexico City video. Um, Avalanche, good job. 68, uh, fastest time. Uh, another good job to you. Uh, I think it was close. If Avalanche didn't have that comeback there, honestly, I would have given best driver of the day to uh, Mandarin. But for like keeping pace so well. But honestly, Avalanche just with that comeback, he's definitely got the driver of the day. That was an amazing uh, race right there. So. Um, yeah, I believe that should conclude the Monaco GP in a Marvel world. And so, uh, let's end the video here. Uh, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this. I will have some other videos similar to this coming out pretty soon. So, see you next time.